Hey, Tanzel, how's it going, man? Good, man. How you doing? You know, I'm actually doing really well now that you're here on the Good as Gould podcast on ICLU Radio. Thank you for joining the show, Tanzel. Yes, sir. No, no problem. No problem. Are you enjoying your day off so far? Yes, sir. Just got a good workout in, so we good. That's good, man. You know, you guys are halfway through the season, getting great production from all three units on the field. What's it like being eight and zero right now? Oh, it's a blessing, man. You know. You know, a lot, a, lot, a lot of people said they could do that, and, you know, we won over and we just got to keep rolling. Never time to look back. Keep rolling it is. I like that answer. You know, there's a lot of talk about Coach McVay's we, not me mentality from people in the media. You know, as a member in the locker room, though, you have that unique experience of being a part of it every single day. What's it like being in that locker room? Oh, that's amazing, man. It's amazing. You know, everybody gets along. You know, Coach McVay is a good guy. And, you know, it's just, every, you know, when everybody gets along, it's just, it makes you so much better on the field, you know, you're playing next to your brother. And you know, you know he got your back and you got his back, so you're ready to roll. Now I see you're like 23, turning 24, what, in like a matter of a week or so? Yeah, yeah, November 6th. <laughs> Is it a bit of a birthday present to be able to go back home to your home state of Louisiana and take on the Saints in the Superdome? Yeah, man, it actually is, man. You know, uh, go home, get to see my girlfriend, get to see all my family, man, and uh, play in the Superdome. You know, I went to two lanes. So I played in the Superdome uh, when I first started there. You know, it's just it's going to be good to go back home and play, man, in front of uh, all the fans. So you're a Baton Rouge kid. What have you brought with you from L.A. to L.A.? That is, Louisiana to Los Angeles. <sighs> what have I brought with me? I think my cooking, man, and... Uh, my food, man, you know, because, you know, the food is different out here. It's, it's all right, but, you know, like my, my certain seasons and stuff I put on my food, you know, that's what I really brought with me. You know, I can't, I can't uh, leave that. Yeah, man, it reminds me. I actually remember seeing a video of you on uh, Interrupted a while back of you chefing it up. Yeah, the fried fish, man, you know. So are you one of the best cooks on the team? Is that basically what you're trying to tell me? Uh, I think I'm one of the best cooks on the team, you know. Some, some people probably bag it different, but I think I am. <laughs> so I want to talk a little bit about last off season. You know, I saw that you were training at Aqib Talib's A plus D one training facility. I mean, what was it like going over there in the off season? Well, actually, I didn't. I trained with a guy who was trained there. The guy who trained there named Brandon George. You know, he's a good guy. You know, he uh, that's the lead brought him on a team to train. Now, it was it was good working with him, man. You know, he taught me a lot, and I've been working on it for a minute. So you probably kind of you know. You probably saw some videos of me and uh, Brandon John. Yeah, that's my guy. Yeah, you guys are doing great hand technique stuff over there. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my guy, Brandon John. Cause he, he's originally from New Orleans, and uh, he works he works with Talib and them as well. So you guys are getting great pressure from bringing three, four guys. Whatever it is, it's just working. That defensive line room, I mean, when you walk in, what's it like being in that room with all that talent everywhere? Uh, it's, it's, it's cool, really cool, man. You know, you got all those guys like... Uh, A.D. Brogger, Sue, you got Samson, you know, you got uh, John Franklin, Rook, he's real good too, man, you know, it's just a lot of, and Ethan Westbrook, it's a lot of uh, talent in there, man, you know, it's all around the board, you know, you, you got to, you can roll guys, it's, it's just crazy just being in there with, a, you know, future Hall of Famers, man, it's real crazy, you can feel it, you can, you can feel it in the room. A lot of those guys carry themselves with such professionalism, have you learned a lot from them? Yeah, I learned a bunch from those guys, man. You got you got to carry yourself like a professional all the time. You know, you, you never know who's watching, and you know, they go they go always go the right up the right away about uh, practice and all that, man. You just you learn a lot from those guys. Now let's talk hip hop for a second. And I see that you like currency. I just want to know what you're spinning on the bus, on the plane, pregame, in the locker room. What is Tanzel Smart listening to? Oh well, so on the plane, you know, I, I got the whole currency like. I got my currency uh, shuffle, man. I, I play that most of the time. You know, I got my NBA young boy, my little Boosie. You know, before the game, I might have some NBA young boy, little Boosie, Kevin Gates. You know, I, I mainly stick to the Louisiana rappers, just mainly. That's all I listen to. Is there anybody that's busting out dance moves post game in the locker room, having a good time out there? I see my man Brockers, man. Yeah, he, he got this little thing. He jumped with his arms and stuff. He got he got some nice little moves with him. Hopefully, he busts out those dance moves more, man, because it means you're winning games. And Tanzel, I just want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join me on the show. Is there anything you want to leave me with before you go? Nah, man. Peace and blessings, man. You know, all is well to everyone, man. I thank you for having me. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for coming on the show. Looking forward to hearing more things from you throughout the season. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tanzel. Smart, everybody.